Hello, let's talk about how to parse and translate for present and imperfect tense. So you're going to need your worksheet and then if you look in your book on page 250, there's a nice quick easy reference for your chart that you're going to need, your two different charts, present and imperfect. Okay, so when we parse a verb, the first thing we need to do is we need to look at it and figure out what its ending is. So it's going to be one of these 12 options because that's all we've learned so far. So if you look, we've got mus, and that's from our o, o, o means I, S means only you, T means he, she, or it through more, and then we're through mus, mus, mus means, and mus means we. So if you want to, you can just dot, jot down that the mus means we. All right? Now, we also have to do some looking up in your glossary. You would need to find wideo, so V-I-D-E-O, and you will see that that means I see. So the meaning of this is just we see. To parse it, what we need to do is we need to find that mus ending in our verb endings chart. So we're going to go over here, and we notice mus is right here. So the first question we answer is what row is it in? It's in the first person row. So we're going to write a one for first person. Then we need to say what column is it in, what number. It's in the plural column, so we just do PL for plural. And then which chart is it in? What tense is it? Is it present or imperfect? It's in the present tense chart. So we say PR for present. All right, the second thing we need to do is we need to translate it in three different ways. So one way would be, oops, sorry, not I. We, because must means we, see. Second way would be we do see. And the third way would be we are seeing. So a very bad mnemonic is just da. <laughs> So, because this one we don't have any helping verb, and then the next one we have do, and then whatever the verb is, and then this one is are or am or is. Okay? So, that's that one. If we go to arabatis, our ending on bot, arabatis is batis. So, ara, if you look it up in your glossary, aro means to plow. So, arabatis, we need to parse it. So, again, we go over here. We need what person is it, what number is it, what tense is it. So, person is your row. So, we're finding batis. It's in the second person row. So, we write two for second person. It is in the plural column for number. And then it is in the imperfect tense chart. Bomb, boss, bot, bomb is bot, dis and bunt, that one, okay? So second plural imperfect. Now, tis, um, must, must, must means we, tis means you and you. So tis is the plural you. So we shorten that by saying y'all. Now, imperfect tense, the three ways to translate it, we use the abbreviation walk. <laughs> which again is a horrible acronym, but y'all were plowing, y'all used to plow, so W, U, or y'all kept on plowing. Sorry for the framing there, I got distracted. Okay, so we're used to, kept on, are our three ways for imperfect. Now, we're supposed to circle our preferred translation. So for present tense, that's the first one. We'll always default to the first one unless it sounds weird. Okay, and for imperfect, we will always default to the were or was version, unless it sounds weird. All right, let's do one more of each, and then hopefully you can finish the rest on your own. Okay, so... Let's do we taunt. So what is your ending on we taunt? Well, if you look over here, we've got just NT as a possible ending. So NT is our ending, which tells us that it is third person, 
plural, present tense. So third, plural, present tense. Und means, und means they, und means they. So we know our subject is they. Wita comes from wito, witare, witawi, witatum. So it's they avoid. And then remember our acronym to remember the others is da. They do avoid or they are avoiding. Okay. Wokabam are ending on that one. Well, we've got bomb. So our ending is bomb. That in our chart is first person singular imperfect tense. So first singular imperfect. Our acronym for imperfect tense is what? Bomb. If first person singular, bomb means I. So I, what? So we need a W. I was. Woka comes from woko, which is I call. So I was calling. I, next letter is U. I used to call. And then the final one is I kept on calling. Our preferred translation for imperfect tense is the W of what? So I was calling. Our preferred translation in the present tense is just the very basic one without a helping verb. So they avoid. All right. So let me know if you have further questions. I can certainly do the other two as well, but I don't want to make this video too long. So hope that helps. Have a great day. Bye.